Spo, this morning you talked about a physicality that you wanted and uh, a disposition of competitiveness. I assume a good portion of the game, that's exactly what you saw, particularly on the defensive end? Yeah, there's things that you have to try to focus on that you, one, that's your identity, and two, that uh, you can control uh, because there are so many things that are just so unique about playing this team, you know, with all the movement and Curry and, and Thompson, you know, still just flying off of screens. You just typically don't play that kind of style against that kind of style night in, night out. Um, so you have to focus on, um, you know, the things that you can do really well. Uh, and those are areas that we pride ourselves on, uh, the loose balls, the rebounding, um, just the overall physicality uh, and disposition uh, to the game. And we're also understand that we're going to be on the road for a while, <laughs> you know, playing, uh, um, you know, uh, the gauntlet on, on the West Coast. So you want to set the tone, you know, right from the get-go. And, um, you know, for the most part, I, I thought uh, our guys brought that kind of effort, energy, the toughness and, and physicality. And um, and then some of those other, you know, things that, uh, you know, we had some, some better concentration, but uh, this is a tough team to guard. Just your view of what you liked from Nico and, and Jamal's minutes. Yeah, you know, the, the big thing, you know, we, we've had a lot of moving parts, and, and this is provided uh, our team to have a lot of different guys step up uh, and that's why we've looked at it uh, you want guys to uh, feel involved feel like they can contribute to winning feel like they can impact winning learn how to uh, how they can impact winning uh, and you know I've said this now for a, a few weeks as you're trying to figure things out a, a great talent to learn in this league as a team is just learn how to win and then you figure out all the minutia and you figure out uh, the rest of the stuff you figure out the continuity uh, but um, the the three young guys in particular RJ uh, Kane and Nico it's not easy you know they go oftentimes weeks without playing uh, but they have to stay ready as UD always says to be ready uh, and then they also have to improve um, so they can't just become be the same players they are because they're they're trying to prove themselves and 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 really establish themselves uh, in this league. But without those three guys and their contributions tonight, we're not winning this game. And they all gave us uh, impactful moments throughout the course of the game. And uh, Kane has been progressively um, getting better. You know, he's he's really uh, embraced a, a role. You know, as a defender and. Uh, filling the gaps offensively. We never, ever run a play for him, but he finds a way, uh, you know, to um, either space the floor or cut or offensive rebound. You know, he just fills in a lot of those those gaps, those energy gaps. Um, and then Nico, you know, also uh, has been getting a, a lot better behind the scenes. And, and we live in a microwave society right now, and, and particularly in pr pro sports. Uh, he's 20 years old. His head coach has seen progress. If he's not playing, that doesn't mean that he is not making progress or that we're giving up on him. We're developing him. And some of these moments uh, in the G League, I think, are really important. Sometimes it's important uh, when you lose and then you get angry about it and you figure out how you can impact winning you know the next time and so he's had great moments in the g league and he's also had tough moments and i think all of that is part of player development uh but he's been preparing and and all of these experiences have been really good for him and then when we needed him you know in that second quarter and then also in the fourth quarter he was prepared and gave us really good minutes Hi, Eric. Uh, were, you, were you able to sense the Warriors' lack of intensity after that first quarter, and was the message to the team during the break to try, try to take advantage of that? No, I did not sense that. No. Uh, when you're sitting in the seat I'm sitting in, or I guess standing on the sideline that I'm standing on, you're always on edge that they could go on an avalanche really quickly. When you throw on any one of their games, they're as explosive as, as any team you know, in this league offensively, particularly what they've done in the last, you know, two weeks. Um, no, that was that was not our message. It was it was more about uh, what we were trying to do. Okay. Hey, Eric, I, those three guys you mentioned, I know you went to their game in Orlando at the showcase. I think you and Tyler went where they were playing 
for oh, the Sioux whole Falls. Staff. We brought a okay, the, full the, bus of people to that game. It was horrible. <laughs> I was going to say things Disaster. didn't really things didn't really go well for them yeah. uh, on on the court that game. What what changed for them between then and now for them to produce like this? No, tonight? nothing changed. Like I said, all of that's important, and this this is the part that nobody really wants to hear. Player development is not just getting shots after practice with a player development coach. It is learning how to impact winning, learning how to embrace a role, uh, dealing with losing, and then almost the shame. We saw them the next day, and they like walked into our team meeting, and they felt so ashamed uh, because we played poorly. Uh, and they wanted to play better. Well, I think that's part of player development. You get angry, you start to figure out, like collectively, how you can find some solutions uh, to get over the top and play better uh, and to win. Uh, and I think, you know, when there's a score, um, all of it is good. You know, um, you celebrate the times that you play well, um, and then you figure out when you're not playing well how what we need to do to. Uh, you know, do better. But um, yeah, that was a that was a tough night. But we've had some good nights. You know, as a staff, we've done a ton of watch parties um, while we're on the road and they're, they're playing. And we've seen some really good basketball. Most of it has been when we've been watching on the TV and have a few pizzas and beers. But uh, that one we happened to see live. It all worked out. But I thought it was a really important day. You know, especially how they approached it. You know, the next few days to to make sure that they that that wouldn't. You know, happen again, but it will. You know, it's competition. You can't always control that. Same thing with Orlando Robinson. He's, he was down there tonight, contributed to a win at a, uh, a double double, 20 and 10. Um, but he goes in with a mindset. Every time we send him on assignment, he, he wants to have an undefeated record. And I think that's great for player development. Coach, what should not be lost other than the shiny object of Tyler scoring in the role? that he's been on since he's gotten back from, from injury? It's still the um, decision-making, and he's going to have the ball in his hands. He has a, a gift for scoring. He has a knack for it. He has a um, just a feel for angles and how to put the ball in the basket. He has great touch. He can do it from all three levels. But then now it's the decision-making because he's being schemed against. And sometimes... Uh, you know, you get off the ball early. Sometimes you're making plays against traps. Sometimes it's uh, different coverages. Sometimes it's a zone. We saw basically everything uh, tonight. And, he, you know, he's reading the game, sometimes letting the game come to him, sometimes being assertive. Uh, and I think all of those things you just learn um, over the course of time and with experience, um, you know, and, and, and really – feeling the responsibility of when the ball is in your hands. It, it's a team responsibility that, 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 that you have. Uh, and he's just been getting a, a lot better with that. All right, thank you. Next we have Jim Conlon. Go ahead. Hi, Coach. Uh, Coach, how important is it really to benefit for of the loss that the Denver Nuggets have in Michael Porter Jr. out through injury? Is it try and move their defence and try and create open trees for Duncan, given how deadly he is? Uh, no, we're going to be who we are. Um, you know, injuries are, are part of the game. Uh, we have great respect uh, for the Nuggets, particularly on, on their home floor. Um, you know, we know we have to play well. We know we have to be on top of our game. Um, you know, so we're going to try to get to our strengths uh, as often as we can. And, and Duncan is one of our strengths. 